Hello students. Welcome to the grammar class. Today's topic is the noun and kinds of nouns. Listen to the explanations carefully so you are able to grasp the concept. The noun. First, let's look on to the definition of noun. A noun is a word used as the name of a person, place, animal or thing. With this definition, we clearly come to know that any person, any place, any animal or any object or thing is a noun. With thing we mean it can be anything. The examples of nouns are John, Mary, man, woman, teacher, home, office, America, Toyota, book, etc. Next we shall study the kinds of nouns. The first kind is proper noun. A proper noun is the name of some particular person or place. Any person or place with a specific name with which it is called is a proper noun. It always begins with a capital letter. Look at the examples. Peter, which is a name. Sita, which is again a name. New York, which is a city. And Taj Mahal, which is the name of a historical monument. The second kind of noun which we shall discuss is the common noun. Look at its definition. A common noun is a name given in common to every person or thing of the same class or kind. Means a cat is known as a cat. Let it be any cat. Similarly, a girl is called a girl. She may be any girl. See to the examples. Cat, girl, country. We shall study the difference between proper noun and common noun. As there is always a confusion with students about the difference between both of them. See the sentence. Radha is a modest girl. In this sentence, Radha is the name of the girl. So, it is a proper noun. And the word girl is used for all girls. So, girl is a common noun. The next sentence, Kolkata is a big city. Now here, the name of the city is Kolkata. It is a specific name. Whereas the word city would go for any city. So it is a common noun. Next kind of noun is the collective noun. See its definition. A collective noun is the name of a number or collection of persons or things taken together and spoken as one whole. Basically, in layman's language, we can say that the name given to the group of a, a person or things is collective noun. See the examples. Crowd, team, flock, herd. To be more clear about what I am explaining, an army is a collection of soldiers. Army here is a collective noun. A crowd means a collection of people. So here, Crowd is a collective noun. The fourth kind of noun is the abstract noun. See its definition. An abstract noun is usually the name of a quality, action or state considered apart from the object to which it belongs. Look at the examples. Quality, goodness, kindness, Action, laughter, movement, state, childhood, youth. The fifth kind of noun that we are going to study is the material noun. Let's look at the definition. A material noun is the name of a material or substance from which things are made. 
in any sentence when we see the name of the material or substance from which it is made it is the material noun look at its examples silver gold iron milk cotton etc with this we come to the end of this session make it a point to memorize the definitions and also understand the concept that how words of one noun are different from the other